Have you ever noticed how sometimes films reuse a piece of sound, music, or visuals over and over again? When that happens, it's called a motif. What is a motif exactly? You may know that the term motif is related to repetition. It's an element that shows up again and again to emphasize an underlying theme in the story. So how does that apply to film? In this video, we'll clearly define what a motif is and how it differs from the theme of a story. We'll also take a look at how motifs are used in cinema. A motif is a repeated narrative element that's used throughout a work that supports the theme of a story. A motif doesn't have to be presented in any specific form. It can be a reference to a specific time, a sound, or a line of dialogue. Music, colors, and repeated events can also become motifs when used intentionally throughout a story. Essentially, motifs further strengthen your story's theme, reintroducing important elements throughout the work to underline their significance. As a video producer, you may be especially interested in visual motifs. The term visual motif refers specifically to the visual elements that reoccur in your film to help tell your story. This can include things like props, set design, symbols, events, and costumes. Specific colors or color combinations can also be used as motifs. Motifs are not to be confused with the theme of the story. The theme is what you want your story to be about. Motifs are used to support the theme and really drive home the message you want to convey. For instance, in Romeo and Juliet, one of the major themes is love. And to support that theme, the work includes a rose. What makes an effective motif? When it comes down to it, almost anything in your film can be a motif. The element you choose, however, has to meet these three criteria to be great and effective. First, it has to support the theme of a story. You can repeat as many elements in your story as you like, but if none of them support the actual theme of the story, they have no purpose being there. In fact, it might confuse your audience because they'll assume that the element they're seeing through the work holds some sort of importance. Motifs need to directly support the theme, otherwise they muddy it. Second, the motif has to reoccur throughout the entire film. There's no magic number for how many times an element needs to be repeated. It just really depends on the story. However, for a motif to really make an impact, it needs to be present throughout the work in some capacity. Lastly, it needs to enhance your narrative elements. There's a lot that motifs can add to the narrative significance of your work. You just have to know how and when to use them. Throughout the series, the franchise It uses the motif of a red balloon. Red balloons show up throughout the series to signal to the Losers Club that Pennywise the Clown is watching them. This in turn supports the series' motifs of childhood trauma. Sometimes, Pennywise appears after the balloons are shown. Sometimes he doesn't. Regardless, the repetition of the balloons reminds the characters, and the audience, that Pennywise is somewhere nearby, watching. It adds a ton of tension to the film, and makes the Losers Club fear Pennywise even more. Red Balloons in It supports the It series theme of childhood trauma by making the children feel like they're always being watched. The entire Star Wars series is full of visual motifs. The franchise features some of the greatest examples of musical motifs. Every single film throughout the franchise has the same powerful score crafted by John Williams. Whether it be the title text scroll, the space battles, the lightsaber battles, using the force to overcome dire situation, Star Wars uses its score and specific musical cues to connect the plot lines and characters throughout the series. It feels like everything in the series is connected just like how the characters are with the Force. Star Wars uses the same score whenever the main characters have to overcome a huge obstacle by using the Force. Pieces of dialogue can be used as a motif too. How many times have you heard Indiana Jones shout, it belongs in a museum, or snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Both quickly establish Indiana Jones' character. We know he's a man of integrity, respecting ancient artifacts and pieces of history rather than a way to make a quick buck. We also learn he has a fear of snakes, which is used throughout the series to put Indiana Jones through uncomfortable situations when snakes are present and to show that even this hero has fears he must overcome. When we take a look at the series' third installment, Last Crusade, throughout the film, Indiana Jones corrects his father whenever he calls him Junior. This motif supports the film's message of family. Indy's relationship with his father is strained at the beginning of the film. He clearly doesn't want to be associated with his father. However, as the film progresses, their relationship improves. Motifs can add layers of narrative significance to your film. When they support the overall theme, they really drive home what you're trying to say to the audience. Whether you use motifs through props, color, music, sets, or dialogue, these reoccurring elements help underscore the theme of your narrative. Continued learning and practice, as well as taking refreshers on the basics, will help keep your skills sharp. Check out our video courses to stay on top of your game. Find a course by visiting videomaker.com courses, or click the link in the description.